Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Docker Swarm and how we are working with the with the networks and how we can create uh, a network where you can work between uh, services like if you have a replicate service and uh, like an API server something like that then you maybe need more uh, containers running in the service and then you don't want to uh, creating a something to handle every IP address about the container and if you're scaling up you need more and you're scaling down you need few so what I want to speak about here is how we're working with the docker swarm and the networking and how it's working so let's first to say so do docker network here and you, you will see we have uh, English here and the overlay and it's a scope for this uh, for the swarm every network you have was a scope for the swarm it's meaning it's will be the part of your swarm cluster so if you have a local that's meaning it's only bind for the host so the ingress here is the uh, I'll say the the main network for, um, for for your docker swarm clustering and it will be there always and you should not use this for load balancing if you want uh, I'll come back for this uh, a, a, a little bit um, and the ingress network it's it's creating every time you create a new cluster and you can use it for uh, to route requests outside the, the clustering and and use the ports you have using for the every single service or stack and then going outside and then uh, push it inside with the, this port number it's very useful and it's very nice so the next step we want to do now it's uh, creating the new network so let's say to do dog on network and I want to create one and it should be an overlay help overlay and then I will call it backend um, no I want to call it the um, balance Let, let's call it the balance and then to so do dog on network ls and then you can see here we have the balance over overlay and it's it's going for a scope for for the swarm the next we want it's uh, I want to show you a very basic one so I'll spin up the service with uh, with first one node and then I'll show you in the browser it's working and uh, it's, it's just a PHP info page but it's demonstrate what we are working with here and then the second one I will, sp I will scale it up for free services and then I will use curl for for heating the services so you can see what what I mean about uh, the load balancing the, um, when you create a, a network called balance then you can use the network for balance in your services so if you have a uh, let's say you have uh, 10 uh, containers binding up for a single service that's meaning you have making a scale or replicate for 10 and then in a normal way if you if you're thinking about outside of docker you need to build a load balancing like uh, nginx then you need to put inside the every single IP address or the host name and then you need to decide how you need to balance this request um, when you do this in docker it's just magical happening of course there's a lot of technical stuff uh, do behind the scenes but in the in the bottom line is meaning you create the overlay network and then you bind the network for your service and then stuff just happening you don't need to think how network working how it should happening and everything the very boring stuff about networking you don't need to think about that so let's say uh, we want to create here docker service create and the name should be let's say we just say web and I want to bind for port number 8080 with port 80 and the network we need to bind for should be the balance and then I need the image I have uh, found the image on a docker hub and it's it's working for my purpose so you can use it if you want it's only for test so that's perfect so that's scaling up one the first image service we have here 
and it should be starting and yeah it's uh, waiting five seconds to verify the task is stable and, and is here so say sudo service sudo docker service ls and we have it here and we do it again and we can see it's running on swarm manager 2 so now let's go in for the browser and i will type the, my ip address it's a uh, yeah we will just do this nope going for my test network it's here and 20 80 80 you can see i have testing this so now you can see i have the version here of the php 5 that's fine it's very old but it doesn't matter because what i want to go down it's apache i'll have it here environment and what you can see this is the server ad, uh, address and uh, i can use a, a curl command just for grabbing up so you can see it here i can say curl v silent and then i just type the ip address here 208080 um, and then we need to grab and we say 10 and 0, 0, 004 that's fine you can see we have um, something happening here ah 8080 here we go and then we have it you can see we have the IP address here and I can try again and again we still have it because we only have one um, one node available so what I want to show you now it's uh, it's, it's rescaling it up and so do docker service scale and we need to the bib tree now I'll spin up the tree servers and when it's done of course you need to verify everything is, is running well and when it's done it's uh, we can just do this and you can say 48 49 47 48 that's meaning every time I run this uh, address I will hit my clustering and then I will hit the port 8080 and I know the port 8080 is binding up for one of my services and based on that know-how the, the docker swarm clustering know about the overlay it uh, should uh, make a little balance between my three services that's perfect so that's uh, how it's working and yeah I hope you it's useful and you can use it I really enjoy it to teach you and I hope to see you next time again and I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel and get more nice tech videos from me and I really hope you want to make a comment if you have any questions or have any kind of feedback. I really hope you want to like this video, add it for your playlist and share with your friends. Thank you so much and thank you for your subscription.